Because antibiotics are frequently used in hospitals, the bacteria found there have become resistant to many of the most often used medications. Recently, the staphylococcal bacteria have shown resistance to a wide range of antibiotics. And the first one that we used was one called methicillin, and so some of these staph are methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, so-called MRSA for short. In fact, it's often the most dominant kind of Staphylococcus that's around. MRSA can cause serious problems. If you have an MRSA infection, your doctors need to know about it so that they can select the right antibiotic. If they accidentally choose an antibiotic that doesn't work, it's like a delay of treatment. It's like waiting to give you the right drug. But you can lower your risk of contracting an infection. Most important, make sure all healthcare providers and visitors wash or sanitize their hands before and after visiting you. Everyone taking care of you needs to have clean hands. Before you're examined by your doctors or nurses, ask them to sanitize their stethoscope properly. This prevents the spread of germs between patients. Bacteria travel from patient to patient to patient. They'll travel on a stethoscope, they'll travel on your hands, they'll travel on gloves. So make sure your healthcare provider has put on a fresh set of gloves before taking care of you. MRSA is a dangerous infection, but it can be prevented.